this video is to show the tip exchange procedure on the atomic force microscope. This is a um, NanoScience, uh, so Easy Scan 2, NanoSurf Easy Scan 2 AFM. Um, in the last page of our procedure, we've put the pictures from uh, the instruction manual, which shows the process, putting in this pin, removing the tip, how to align the new tip, and uh, you know how to do the initial testing to make sure it's working. Okay, so the tools that you'll need are this little laser blocking piece, um, this pin, and a set of these uh, tweezers that have like an angled end on them. Right, so we can pick up the tip like that. Um, and these set of tips. So this is uh, called a gel pack. Um, the tips just kind of stick onto the surface and you can just tip it over, they don't come out. Um, you should reflect the light off of these surfaces to see if the, the cantilevers are still attached. Um, so it'll be a little piece that sticks out at the end. Um, so the process is essentially, uh, we take the AFM off of the top here, flip it over. We put this uh, sort of laser block onto this end piece like this just kind of slides over. So it's blocking the, the laser light from getting in our eyes. Right, just like that. We'll take this little pin and we'll put it in the hole here. You see it makes contact with the tab and lifts up with a little spring. Okay. Inside there, we've already removed the old tip, but you can see little patterned grooves in that surface. And on the bottom side of these tips, if you see number three, it also has these little patterned um, lines in it so that it sits uh, very flat inside there. Okay, we're gonna take number four from this pack and we're basically gonna put it so that those patterned grooves align with the, the ones in the holder. So very gently, we'll pick this up and we'll put it onto those little pattern grooves. And we'll just give it a little nudge into place. And if you look from above, basically we're looking for some little triangles to exist in the, the corners, the back corners. So we can see that depicted um, in this setup with this picture. You see the little triangle of, of dark that exists because of the, the cut edge on there. Okay. So that looks pretty good to me. We'll take the pin out and remove. Uh, we can actually flip it back over, put it back on the stage, and remove the front guard. Um, at this point, we can look at the software, if it'll open for us. Okay, so when you're connecting the software, this progress bar shows that it's going to work. If it doesn't work, you may have to fiddle with the, um, the controller box that's under here and maybe uh, you might have to restart the computer too. But you should see the, the video window that looks like this. And this is nice. With those pattern grooves, the laser that we use for detection is supposed to bounce off the cantilever. And you notice right now that it's illuminated with an LED. There's like a white LED that's under this uh, piece over here. There's a slider bar under our video that allows us to turn that LED off. So I'm gonna do that now. And you'll notice a little faint glow on the end of this cantilever right here. That is our um, little infrared, uh, it's not infrared, there's actually a, a red LED that marks where the infrared uh, laser is. So um, that's how to check basically that, the, that it's been installed correctly. And you probably wanna run uh, your first scan on the calibration grid to make sure that it's working properly when you replace it.